What's up everybody, this is Saiyan Z3 here to give you guys another video. Uh, this is one of my first videos that I've made in a long time. Uh, I came with my Toriko chapter review back on Thursday, but I haven't really done like a, a, a really good discussion video in a long time. So I thought this would be a, a pretty opportune time for me to for me to make this particular video. Um, I'm going to be talking I'm going to be talking about the uh, the, the so-called milking of DBZ. Um, basically this started with my with my homie with my fellow supernova with my bro Solid and Palantir coming out with a video called Stop Milking Dragon Ball and basically his point of view was that um uh basically he felt that Dragon Ball was being milked for for a whole lot and I'm going to I'm going to try and get some uh some perspective on that matter and and try try and get to the root of where all this milking uh this milking talk comes from okay um and, and and where the blame should be put in you know for this um in terms of okay so basically uh of course with the news of battle of gods being gonna gonna be released in what uh four days on uh, march 30th 2013 uh you know there's been a lot of uh what, what should i say uproar i guess you can say in the in the youtube anime community um because we realize that the movie's ending is very open ended. Basically, this is going to be spoilers. So if you die, if you guys don't want to listen to this, just quit this video for like thirty seconds or so, or or, or a minute, um, and 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 come back. Uh, so anyway, here I go. Uh, basically, at the end of the movie, we find out that there are twelve universes. Uh, in the dragon, in the Dragon Ball, in the Dragon Ball Z verse, in the Dragon Ball verse, and that Goku, where where the main the main timeline of events occurs, is in the seventh universe. So that's that's their universe. It's, it's known as the seventh universe. And uh, basically, uh, people are saying, okay, so is this going to lead to a new series? Is this going to lead to like 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 what's the purpose? Uh, my answer to that would be that they they're not going to say that there's going to be 12 other gods of dis or not 12 11 other gods of destruction um excluding bells also and other universes out there to explore uh i think that's i mean it, it's obvious it's going to be new content but i, I severely doubt it's going to be a new series because if if anyone is going to write the series it's going to be toriyama but like i said before in a live stream uh by Zalad and palantir uh, Toriyama has repeatedly said that he doesn't want to draw Dragon Ball like anymore. Like he, during the Buu saga, like it's not that he was tired; like he enjoyed it, but he felt that it was time to end the to end the manga, which he did obviously. Um, and he, he, so I, I, I don't see him coming back and writing a new series. Uh, if if a new series is started, I can give you two people uh, that would want to take it up. Um, Basically, if you guys don't know, there are actually two Dragon Ball mangas. Yeah, two Dragon Ball mangas being serialized right now in Japan. Uh, the first one is called Dragon Ball SD. Um, if you guys don't know what SD is, that's basically like the chibi form and uh, of, of, of a character. The chibi form of, of any manga. So like Dragon Ball SD would be like the chibi forms of Goku, Gohan, Vegeta. You know, everyone that you know. Same with Naruto, One Piece, Fairy Tail. Uh, Gundam, Gundam has done it. Uh, I believe Kogias has done it as well. Uh, the one who's currently writing that manga right now is this woman by the name of Naho Ushi. I think you, I think that's how they pronounce her name. Um, uh, so yeah, she would be a candidate to write this if this new series if it happens. Or uh, the second author that I was going to say was this guy called Toyotaro, who is actually currently writing the Dragon Ball Heroes manga, which is being serialized in V Jump. Uh, basically, what this manga is is. It's um being based on the Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Heroes uh, card game, this arcade this arcade game which is based on cards on cards which uh, what you basically do is you you get a card and you scan it and then you you get like um you get like these fighters on your screen and then you duke it out with another player with these fighters and you know there's certain attributes and and and, and, and stats and, and and attacks and characters and and all that stuff. So there's actually being a, there's actually a manga being serialized about um being written about that right now. And that's being headed by someone whose name we don't really know. We just know his pen name is Toyotaro. So those are your two authors for like this quote unquote new series. Uh, so if a new series happens, it's it. I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure it's going to be these two. I severely doubt Toriyama is going to come back um, to to actually to draw to draw the series. I, I don't think he. 
I don't think he has a problem with writing the series, but if he writes the series, I mean, his storytelling needs to be up a bit because, like I said, as a Dragon Ball fan, the one thing that I can admit to in the series is that it has a lot of plot holes and a lot of inconsistencies. So his, I think, I think his action, I think, okay, n- n- not to go like in the series review direction, but I think as a series, I it's got the action on lock. Uh, for the most part, the character development, in my in my opinion, is on lock. Uh, the the settings, the um, the the world building I, I don't know if that's really necessary but since he's going with twelve universes I mean why why the hell not I guess that's something else he'll have to improve on so yeah uh you know there 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 are things he's gonna have to improve on if he comes back I I think that there's no question considering that manga and anime like um my friend Ramiyaku Joten said has really changed I mean it, it's not like it's not like the nineties where it's like uh, uh, all, all like me. I, I don't want to say mediocre, but it's not um, it's not as a uh, as elaborate as it is today. There's a lot of there's just, there's just so much care taken with today's writing, uh, that that you know Tony would have to do the same, um. But like I said, I don't think it's gonna be him. It's gonna be one of those two authors. Now to get to the actual uh milking talk, okay, uh. Dragon Ball Z ended in around I want to say 94 95 uh, the Wrath of the Dragon which was the 13th Dragon Ball Z movie was released in 1995 uh, Bardock the father of son go uh, <laughs> Bardock the father of Goku and the history of trunks which were two TV specials were I believe released before that I might be wrong uh, I they could have been released after because they were they, those two those two things they were not movies they were TV specials um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of like that sort of uh, that sort of um, art style, uh, that thing has been reserved for the '90s. Okay, uh, so I, I'm just gonna give you a timeline of like the actual like animated works and some of the um, the manga works, I guess you can say. Okay, so '95 was the Wrath of the Dragon. Okay, uh, in 2003, um, they came out with the Dragon Ball movie called Path to Power. Uh, so that's around eight years after. Uh, yeah, around eight years after uh, uh, Wrath, Wrath of the Dragon. Uh, between those eight years, though, Dragon Ball GT obviously happened. Uh, that w- but that also was a, was a 90s series. I believe that was 96, 97. I might be mistaken. Uh, but that was only 64 episodes as opposed to uh, uh, Z's um, 291. Um, so there's that. And uh, after Path to Power and Dragon Ball GT, so... so Quick recap: uh, Wrath, Wrath of the Dragon, GT, Path to Power. Uh, so after two thousand and three, uh, we haven't really had a whole. We haven't ha- really had a whole lot of uh, animated or or manga works from uh, from from DBZ. Uh, we've had we we've had things like um, DBZ Kai, which was which started in two thousand nine uh, for the twenty fifth anniversary of Dragon Ball. Um, but that's that's more of like a like a re airing thing, okay. Uh, back in two thousand seven, they re-released it like on like DVDs and and and, and Blu-rays and stuff like that. Uh, but it, but then again, like I just said, that's more of like a like like a reselling thing. I mean, it, it is milking essentially. I, I I won't lie, but when you have it like in ten eighty p, like in HD definition, I mean, I I think it's well worth the price. Uh, one thing I didn't agree with that that Funimation did though was um, they released the orange box sets and. A couple of years ra- later, not later, later they released both the Dragon Boxes and the and the um and the uh, the Blu-rays. So in that sense, I think it's milking. I think in that sense, I think the the series is being milked. Uh, but in terms of like actual like fresh new content, we haven't really had a whole lot. Um, we've had uh we've had uh what's it, we've had three OVAs. Uh, we've had the Yo Son Goku and his friends return. Uh, back in 2008 we've had the the um what's called the plan to eradicate the saiyans in 2010 which came with the raging blast 2 video game which i'll get which i'll which i'll get into uh in in a few minutes uh which is essentially a re-edit of a previous ova that was released back in the 90s so again it's just a re it's just a redrawn thing and then the third OVA, or I guess you, I'll call it an OVA, uh, would be the episode of Pardock, which was released in 2011 with uh, Dragon Ball Z for Connect. I don't, I, I don't remember if it came with Ultimate Tenkaichi. I don't believe it did. Uh, basically, it chronicles Bardock not actually dying at Frieza's hand and going back in time and becoming the legend, 
the actual legendary Super Saiyan the, that we all know. So, and then of course we have Dragon Ball Evolution in 2009, uh, which was obviously a Hollywood movie that failed. Um, I think I've covered most of at least Dragon Ball, or, or, and they, they're re-releasing they're re the manga now in, uh, in full color for 2013. Um, now in terms of uh, Dragon Ball content, okay, so I think, I think in terms of manga and, and anime, I think I've covered it, and movies and film, I think I have, I don't, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, but in terms of um, um, milking the series, uh, like I said in the live stream, which, which I had taken part in, uh, which I'll post in the description below also, uh, I've also taken part in, um, <laughs> okay, okay, I, I fucked that up, uh, I think most of this, um, I think most of this milking discussion comes from the video games, uh, what I mean by that is, Budokai 1 was released in 2003, uh, Budokai 2 came, came in 2004, Budokai 3 came out in 2005, or no, 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 sorry, 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 Budokai came out in 2002, Budokai 2 came out in 2003, Budokai 3 in 04, and then they started with the Tenkaichi series. So Tenkaichi 1 was released in 05, uh, Tenkaichi 2 obviously was 06, and then Tenkaichi 3 was 07. And then after that, they released Burst Limit, which was in 2008, Infinite World, which was essentially like, um, if you guys have played Street Fighter 4, you guys know what Street Super Street Fighter 4 is, which is like an, which is like an upped version of the, of the original game. Basically, Infinite World is that, except for Budokai 3. Uh, it implements elements of both uh, bu the, bu the Budokai series and then the Shin Budokai series for the PSP, uh, which makes it, in my opinion, one of the best fighters out there that, I, that I've played. Not just because it's a DBZ game, but I think it's like a solid fighting system that I think many people should look into, but, you know, I'm, get I'm getting sidetracked with that. So, Infinite World 2009, uh, then they, obviously they started the Raging Blast series in uh, 2009 as well. So they did Raging Blast 1 in 2009, Raging Blast 2 in 2010, and then in 2011, they released uh, Ultimate Tenkaichi. Um, so you know we we've had like a game like each year for Dragon Ball Z, and I can kind of see like I would think that's where the this milking business is is coming from because we don't see ads for DBZ anymore on television. We don't see it anywhere like when when we go out in the city ex except for a game. You see what I'm saying? Like that's like that's like the the new content for it. Uh, so, so in terms of like an actual manga and anime, I mean, it, if if it is to blame, if there is someone to blame for that, it would be like Funimation because they did release the 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 Orange Brick season sets, and then they released the Dragon Box, and then they released the Blu-ray. Uh, they could have easily made a hell of a lot more money if they just did Blu-ray with both Falconer and Kikuchi soundtrack, which is the Japanese soundtrack, uh, with English and Japanese. Uh, uh, you know, voice, 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 voiceovers, and um, in terms of Kai, uh, I don't know. Well, my opinion on Kai is that uh, Kai ha had, ge generally speaking, has better voice acting and better dialogue, uh, better pacing too, um, and, and obviously no filler. But I think that Kai was a missed opportunity, and I really see it as I don't want to say a cash cow, but I mean, they did the redrawn portions were so lazily done that I it it's almost like they didn't care about it. You see what I'm saying? Like Kai, like when you when I look at Kai, when I look at Z, and when I look at purely the animation aspect of it, not much has changed. Uh, in fact, I would say Z's animation was way better than Kai's because I I did not like Kai's animation. That's my biggest gripe with it actually, because for a show, I I did not like the animation of Kai. And for the 25th anniversary of Dragon Ball Z, I mean, you would think that they would do be doing something, like, better. Um, if you guys have Ultimate Tenkaichi, or if you guys have played it, and you guys have played the story mode, uh, basically, Madhouse Studios, uh, who are obviously cur currently doing a Hunter x Hunter, the, the 2011 uh, anime series, um, they redrew, or they didn't redrew, they, they hand-drew cutscenes for Ultimate Tenkaichi, so they redrew the entire series, uh, and there's this one guy on YouTube that I that I, I saw his comment, and he told me that there's a rumor going around that uh, when they were doing that, they redrew the entire series. Madhouse redrew the entire Dragon Ball series, like with new, with like actual like new animation. 
I would have killed to see that rather than what they put in Kai. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of going on a little Kai rant. I, I don't hate Kai, but I'm kind of going on a little DBZ Kai rant. Um, and I, I know this video is going to be about milking, so I'll try and stay on topic. Uh, I'll, I'll stick it to Funimation and I'll stick it to Toei. I, I'll stick it to those two groups. If, if there's anyone to blame for this milking, uh, in terms of re-releasing like new stuff, I, I it'll probably be those two companies. But um, I mean Toriyama, like people are saying like, oh Toriyama is just like no. I mean Toriyama, like he doesn't care. Like like Dragon Ball right now is like, well currently right now it's like fresh in his mind because he just did the movie. Um, and prior or contrary to popular belief, he didn't write the script. The script writer was Yusuke Watanabe. Who wrote the script for both the live ad adapta live action adaptation films of both 20th Century Boys and Gantz? That was the guy who wrote the script. Toriyama was just involved in the script. Like he 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 wasn't even the main writer. He just I I guarantee you, if you ask for his role, he'd probably say he just looked over the script a couple times, went back and read the manga, and tried to make sure like everything was in tip top shape. And even then, even if he did do that, I. I'm sure there's some inconsistencies in the movies, but obviously, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't pay much attention to that. I mean, I, I actually, no, no, I take that back. I do pay attention to it, but I don't really, like, like care for it. Um, I think I'll make another video for that after the movie has been released to sort of explain my view on that. Um, but yeah, you know, again, like, this, this whole milking business, I just think it comes from the video games, and I think it comes from more what has happened in the North, North America than what has happened in um actually no i take that back as well it it has more to do with what north america and japan has done with dragon ball rather than what the entire world has done with it um like i said there's new i i i really feel like this video this, this whole thing comes from funimation's re-releasing of some of the dvd sets and Re-releasing the same series three times. Um, they canceled the Blu-ray, if you guys didn't know that. Um, but, of course, there's the Dragon Box, and, of course, there's the Orange Box sets. Uh, and then, of course, there's the games. Um, in terms of actual, like, new content, in terms of animation, in terms of anime and manga, um, there really hasn't been a whole lot since Wrath of the Dragon. I mean, like I said, you have GT... Uh, you ha then you had that little A uh, Hero's Legacy, but I'll include that as part of GT, so that's one. Uh, then you had A Path to Power, which was two. Uh, then you had Dragon Ball Evolution, which was three. Then you had DBZ Kai, which was four. And then you had the three OVAs. Uh, one released in 08, and then the one released in 10, one released in 11. And now you have the new movie. So that's seven things in the span of 17 years, and most of the things are pretty short, I'd have to say. I mean, those are not like full-blown movies. So I mean, inter I I'm I'm kind of mixed on this opinion. I'm kind of uh, like 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 caught in the middle on this issue. But uh, I think I've talked for long enough. Um, I think I've given my thoughts on it. Uh, if you guys disagree with me, or you guys have something to say that you th that you guys would like to see um, pertaining to Dragon Ball, uh, don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I mean. Yeah, dude, I I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but um, what else? Uh, I've decided to do a Goku character analysis. Um, I think that's probably gonna be my next video. Uh, I'll probably do it after my Toriko review. Uh, at, f for this week. So yeah, I guess be on the lookout for that. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I won't take up any more of your time. Peace. Have a nice day.